In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. And just like that, I'm back. It's been a night for me, but for you, you're just continuing to watch, hopefully. So what happened last night was we were thinking through, well, how does this thing lift up? Because I think we shared with you, we wanted to extend the sofa to extend out, of course, and turn into a bed. But we also want to be able to lift it up because we've got our battery bank and our inverter and other things that we may need to tinker with at some point. So to do that is something that a lot of people don't really show in videos. And so I want to make sure that we're really clear on this very important step um, because we almost overlooked it. So here is... This is our battery bank box. So if you remember, this is gonna be the sliding, um, sliding bar, I guess. And this is where the slats are gonna go. So the ones that don't move are gonna be screwed into here, and the ones that do move are gonna be screwed into here. Now, the frame will move forward but in order to lift, we've got to have, whoop, there it is. It's making itself known. We've got to have this other two by two right here. And its whole purpose is not to move, except it's going to be what goes up when we lift the whole thing up. And so this will make more sense as we put the slats together and then and the hinges and lift it. But without this second bar on the inside, it doesn't move this way. It doesn't need to do anything other than this is If it keeps rolling like that, it's going to get thrown into a fire. No, I don't have anger issues. Okay, maybe I have some. There, that's the way it should be. So, the thing about it is... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So the thing about this is we're going to screw, <laughs> I quit, I quit. The permanent slats aren't going to screw into this frame, which is what I said previously. So erase that from your memory if I haven't already edited it out of the video. These slats are going to screw into this board, this 2x2 two two that runs across here. And that's what's going to make it more permanent. They're not going to be able to move forward, so when it pulls out, they're going to stay in place because they're, they're screwed into what's behind the frame here, not what's in front. When we put the frame together in the front, that's going to pull out with half the slats. Okay, so this bar right here is super important. On that note, i got to go cut some slats and make them look nice. I've got the dimensions all set up. I'm going to cut a couple of them at those dimensions just in case I'm wrong because you know me by now. I'm oftentimes wrong, but I think I got it figured out. I'll cut it a little bit longer if I need to, because you can always you can always cut things shorter, but you can't add the wood on without going back to Lowe's to buy a new piece. Oh,
So, we are together in this great camper that I keep cursing because everything keeps going not the way I want it to go. But we are here and it is time to really put the finishing details on the bed. It's look at the sofa, sorry. <laughs> it's not the bed, it's the sofa that turns into a bed. But it's freaking awesome looking at it and seeing how it's gonna be. Like this is again, going back to the metaphor on the date, I think I'm gonna get that kiss. It's gonna be great. I think we're gonna get married actually, but we gotta get through this first night. So, 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 so. We've laid everything out and we just generally spaced it. I'm gonna show you how this is gonna go, but we looked at a couple examples of what people did right and did, didn't do right. And you've probably seen these videos. If you're watching this one on how to build your sofa, um, you've probably seen the other ones where people screwed up. I am terribly afraid of screwing up at this point just because of the time that it's taken and because I don't want to buy any more wood or any more parts. The trick that we're going to do, you've probably seen people, but they never explain it. This is how wide our slats are going to be between, uh, between slats. It's simple. You, I'm just going to put it in between and slide the next one over as we start screwing things down. Um, nobody ever says that. You just kind of see them do it. So we're using the last slat we're going to screw down. This is the one that we're going to use to kind of space everything out as we go. A couple things to notice as well is our hinge placement. We're keeping our hinges. We've got four of them because our entire length of our sofa is 64 inches. So that's, that's pretty good size. Um, it's bigger than the one we took out because we took up more space, but that is every six slats. We're putting a hinge, which will allow us to swing everything up. And then the, other issue that we had was trying to conceptualize which slats were moving and which ones weren't. Every other slat moves, but you got to figure out where you're going to screw into, whether it's going to be on the hinge or whether it's going to be the inside two by two or the front two by two or the front of the actual sofa. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a permanent marker and I'm going to put dots that are gonna show me where my screws are gonna go. So I can take one last look and be like, all right, this is it. This is the way it's supposed to go. So I don't screw everything up. Yeah, it takes more time. Sure, I should just wing it and, you know, to hell with it and just <laughs> throw it all together. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then I just fit, tweak things. But I don't wanna tweak things. I wanna try to get it right. So I'm overthinking it, but it's gonna look great when it's finished. It's gonna be worth the time that we're putting into making it right. So. I do have some concerns already. I can picture like this first slat's gonna be one of our sliding slats. The reason why, oh, another thing to point out. So this hinge, you're gonna wanna have a board in the back that's at least right around the height above these slats. The reason why the slats need to go flush and then you can put the hinge on there. And then this, there's, it's all level now, except for the little part of the hinge that sticks up, which you won't feel um, because you're not sleeping on the wall. So everything's level. The hinge can fit there and work, but you do need to make sure when you're framing everything out that your wall piece is slightly raised to the width of whatever slats you're using. These are one by threes, which are not really one, it's three quarters of an inch. So that's just to show you a little trick that we got to have with this pulling out hopefully it's not going to catch on anything i don't think it will but we will find out when we do it the reason why this one's going to be here is because i've already got two screws holding this down in the back i could put the hinge there and just use those screw holes which mm, that's not a bad plan but i'm going to stick with offsetting it because the example we've been using i really like um, he uses the second one as the hinge and the first one slides, but he also built a side to it and we're not doing that.
Okay, moment of truth. It's been a great date. We got all the way through the night, had a fantastic time. My back hurts a little bit, but that's not her fault. <laughs> anyway, I'm just getting old. Anyway, it's been awesome. And we're at the door, I'm walking her up. I can tell there's one light on. I don't know if it's dad or not, but it doesn't matter. I'm going for the kiss. I'm going for it because the night's done. And this is what I've been dreading. This is what I've been dreading for a very long time was it's actually put together and I'm about to test it and it's not going to work. So I'm, <laughs> I'm going for the kiss. Am I going to crash and burn or is it going to be a success or are we going to get married? <laughs> Lindsay's laughing. We dated for nine months. We saw each other like every day for those nine months and then we were married. So things move quick when you're in love. Oh man, I'm scared. Do I lift Is it, it up? gonna work? I should lift it up first since it's there. Ooh. It's already attached and then... Ooh. All right, so if I did this right, these screws right here are into this thing. So it should want to lift and the hinges should allow the other ones to lift up too with this board, this two by two. Oh, I'm scared. Lifting as well. This stupid thing. We don't, oh, it, doesn't, no! it doesn't even work for us. No! 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 <laughs> it hits it. It works right up until... No, why did we not think <coughs> of that? We just gotta notch it out. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. <laughs> I think I'm gonna notch okay, it out. Okay, so not a complete fail. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna but what about this? Oh, we failed. Lindsay. We totally failed. We totally failed. We're going to have to remove this board. Yeah, man. Okay, well, let's let's do it right now. Where my <laughs> We totally didn't think about that always the countertop. Happens. <laughs> so I went for a kiss and Oh, it was a big you missed. Kiss. You missed. And she like she shrugged me off and uh, went inside. <laughs> And little brother was watching. <laughs> I don't think she shrugged you off. I just think, you know, maybe maybe there's maybe there's a second date. Maybe. Maybe. Alright. Nope. Yeah. Dang. Wow. That sucks. Well, I know how to fix it. That's what we did wrong. I know how to fix it. Look, here's what's okay. gonna happen. This is gonna come in to here. Mm-hmm. It's gonna go down there. So I'm going to just cut this off because this is the only part that lifts up and it needs to be right. Can't be any closer than there. So if I cut it off there, I move this over. That's fine. This frame can stay where it is. Mm -hmm. No problem with that. Or we can just trim the edge off. No. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That would lead to divorce. <laughs> Not my pretty countertop. Keeping track. So now. Other than that. Alright, so it happens when you move it out. Whoop! Well, that <laughs> it keeps falling, so what do we what did we do wrong? I don't know. Huh. Yeah. So what did we do wrong? That's what everybody else did. It's like it's too heavy. I remember seeing somebody do something about this. Hmm. And they put like a little a little piece somewhere. Dang. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. Why is it doing that? That's a pain. This is cool that that, that actually works. Mm -hmm. I thought this was going to be a screwed up part. I thought for sure it would slide right out. Man. All right, so we got to figure out why the slats pull out so rough. For the time being, you can sit on it. We can sit on it. Oh. Me like you. Why don't we just like call it done? And leave it broke. <laughs> I mean, how often are we going to be pulling it out to make it? Oh, bed? we're going to have to pull it out. We're going to fix it. 
I'm just gonna go to lunch first. Yeah. And I might just call it, is it Friday? No. I might just Tuesday. call it happy hour lunch and just not come back to work after, after lunch. You know what I'm talking about, you've been there. That's how I'm feeling right now, I'm feeling a little defeated. You've only just taken a breath, but for me, I just made lunch and enjoyed about an hour of downtime thinking through how I was going to fix this before I go sit by the pool with the dogs because that's what I need right now is to sit by the pool with the dogs and let them swim. So in order to do that, I need to finish this project so that I can clear my mind and finish this project. I know we've got two issues, right? So I know how to fix both of those issues. It's just a matter of time and a couple cuts. So the first issue is solved by keeping some kind of a slat here. And what that does is it keeps it on the track on the side. And so when we pull this out, it doesn't fall through because this half of this board is on the two by two that's on the other side of there that's underneath. So that's the first part. The problem is if I keep this board here, then we can't do what leads to problem number two, which is I lift it up and it comes in contact with both this switch right here as well as the counter. So I can notch the wood. I'm gonna to try to just put a smaller piece of wood here. In theory, if I just have um, a tiny little notch, a tiny little piece there, that should work so that it slides. It still has to screw into this board here but it should still slide. And as long as it, it makes the basic track, I should be okay. Um, the other thing I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to move this over and I can only move it over as far as this beautiful heat vent. I should have just moved this over. It's kind of interesting. We were trying to move the vents as far over as we could to space them out um, because this vent originally was further down over here with the old sofa and we wanted it just to come straight out into the room so now the, the most i can move this post is over to right here i'm going to take this outer frame off i'm going to there's a screw underneath here otherwise i could do this all um right here in fact i could do it all right here i could take out my multi-tool my oscillating saw and i could cut and cut and then I could, yeah, maybe I'll do that. No, something will go wrong. Something always goes wrong when I try to shortcut. Um, but maybe I will, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Either I'm gonna unscrew all these slats, take that off and then fix it, or I'm gonna get my multi-tool out and just saw right through it and hopefully not saw right through the floor, but we'll see. I fix it. I fixed it. All that I need to fix is fixed. So, as indicated, trim this off right here. So we took off about two and a half inches, exactly two and a half inches, top and bottom. I moved the support beam over as close as it could be without being too in, uh, intrusive of the heating vents. Then we took off this last slat because that was catching and we put just a tiny little piece on there because it's gotta be on the track. Think of this as a track or a rail, kind of like a drawer that pulls out. So as long as it stays on track, it's good to go. It's not gonna drop down there. That was pointed out in somebody else's video and I don't remember where it was or what it was. The last mm -hmm. thing that we did, we cut this little notch because it was catching on the end here. And so now check this out, boom. Oh, and because we have awesome sconces, they turn up, we were able to make it so it fits perfectly underneath our lights, mm -hmm. which Thank is amazing. That. I can do something oh. simple as just have a bungee cord from here to here, and that bungee cord will hold it up. It's really lightweight. It's got quite a bit of wood, but it's pretty lightweight. So that's pretty awesome. And then of course, it's going to pull out when I tell it to right now. You gotta pull on the right slats. If you pull on these ones, it doesn't, it doesn't go anywhere. So, pull it out. This was catching, so I trimmed off a little bit in the corner here. Now, the only thing I do not like 
is our camper wasn't level and I didn't I didn't take the time to do something perfect. So there's a little bit of unlevel when I began and that's just accelerated as it slides out. Yeah, so, so we're gonna be cutting just little boards, not this whole thing, but just a little board to put under each of our um, vertical posts. And what that will do is it will make a secure connection so that we can then the ground. get on the bed. Otherwise, it's just gonna torque and snap these and that's gonna hurt my heart. Yeah. And probably oh, my body. <laughs> if I was on there, I'd fall right through and probably have splinters well, go into my heart. We're hoping we're not using the bed that much. It's no. just to have... Once we get the TV between yeah, sitting we probably here and sitting in it. that chair, laying on the floor. I mean, we have floor space now. We didn't yeah, have that no, in the truck we camper. we did not have that at all. So a yoga mat on the floor is where I'm going to be stretching anyway. It's not the end of the world. You've got tons of throwaway pillows, so we can yep. put those to use on the floor. So here it is.